Hola chicos, bienvenidos a otra lección. In our last lesson we talked about adjectives. And we talked about adjectives being not just uh, physical describers, not just like um, the big teacher, the, um, the small book. You know, it's not always, adjectives aren't always describing the physical characteristics, but sometimes adjectives describe possession, like my book, possessive adjective. Sometimes um, adjectives describe where something is, or, or they show who's, uh, where it is in relation to the speaker. For example, this book, that book, demonstrative adjectives. This book, that book, that one way over there. Aquel libro, ese libro, este libro. So we talked about adjectives a little bit in our last video. I almost slipped into uh, a repeat of the last lesson. I apologize. Okay, in this lesson we're talking still about adjectives, but we're forgetting demonstrative adjectives, we're forgetting possessive adjectives, and we're just talking about using an adjective as a noun. Now in one of my classes this even came up because somebody said, um, well, uh, colors are always adjectives. And we talked a little bit about the idea of saying, well, do you want the red paint or the blue paint? The blue. Well, adjectives can be used as nouns also. Uh, in Spanish, we, we do a little bit in English. They could, we can do it in Spanish. Um, in today's lesson, we're going to talk about adjectives as nouns. And it's a real short lesson because there's not a whole lot to it. Basically, uh, you can use an adjective as a noun. Okay, you're thinking, okay, how do I do that, senor? Okay, here you go. Let's say, let's say we've got a, a couple of items. Let's say you've got um, una camisa azul and you've got una camisa roja. Okay. And somebody might say, ¿cuál prefieres? ¿Prefieres la camisa azul o la camisa roja? Well, you got camisa azul, camisa roja. Now, it sounds kind of redundant to keep saying shirt. So you might say, ¿prefieres la camisa azul o la roja? You can just say the red instead of the red shirt. I think we do something like that in English as well. Um, ¿Prefieres la clase grande o la clase pequeña? Prefiero la pequeña. Um, ¿Prefieres la hamburguesa con queso? No, that's still now. ¿Prefieres la hamburguesa caliente o la hamburguesa fría? La fría. Okay, that's kind of gross. Um, let's grab a couple of these. I'll... I'll just go around the room, grab a couple things here. Okay. ¿Tú prefieres, prefieres el libro rojo o el libro verde? Bueno, prefiero el verde. Um, oh, let's see, here's something else. ¿Prefieres la camiseta roja o la camiseta amarilla? Well, you don't have to say camiseta every time because camiseta, camiseta... ¿Prefieres la camiseta roja o la amarilla? See, we removed the noun. We just call it la amarilla. Yo prefiero la amarilla. O el celeste, el azul. Oh. Ok. ¿Prefieres, ¿Prefieres el cuadro viejo o el nuevo? Bueno, yo prefiero el viejo. Es de mi abuelo. All right, so I hope that that was clear enough for you. It, like I said, real quick lesson. Um, just you can remove the noun and just use an adjective. La roja, la grande, la apretada, la floja. ¿Prefieres la camiseta floja o la apretada? Bueno, yo prefiero la floja. No me gusta la apretada. We could just get camiseta out of there and just use the adjective as a noun. We still use that, that definite article usually, though. El verde. El amarillo, la apretada, la nueva. Okay, so we just use the article, adjective, and we call it good. We leave the noun at home. You can sleep. Sleep. All right, chicos. Gracias por escuchar. Nos vemos la próxima vez. Chao.